Youngster, it started out with the skinheads and then sort of towards the early 80s it became casuals. Most of us became casuals, so we grew our hair out a bit longer and started wearing designer clothing. <laughs> I was quite an angry child stroke teenager, so uh, it suited me more <laughs> to be a member of the skinhead group than uh, anything else. The music was a big part of it, and we used to listen to all sorts of stuff, really. Uh, Oi music was the, the sort of mainstay of it, but there was also the two-tone record label and the two-tone, the whole two-tone movement. Um, so yeah, music was a big part of it, and of course, always, always a bit sort of punk, yeah. more orientated, where obviously the two tone was based on ska and reggae. Um, yeah, it was a uh, it was a big influence, I would say. But we we also we used to listen to stuff from the sixties, like you you know we we grade our parents' record <laughs> covers and see what they had and listen to. The Kinks and stuff like that. See, a lot of the Oi music was quite political um, because the, the economic times were quite harsh, so there wasn't much hope of employment on leaving school, etc. etc. Um, very few kids went to university from my background um, and were unlikely to, sort of thing. So, yeah. Um, the political side was, it was the, the music reflected a lot of desperation, if you like, and, and aggression and anger towards society. I, I don't know if you've ever seen the film This Is England. Like Shane Meadows obviously grew up in that time. When I watched it, I thought that's that's almost like my childhood, like you know, because you, you you did have this right-wing element that was trying to infiltrate the, the subcultures and wanted to sort of manipulate, almost create an army. Some kids went that way and others didn't, you know, and it, it sort of created splits in groups and gangs as we were growing up, you know, so there were a lot of external attributes. There were, there was almost like a badge of honour that came with with it if you were in trouble or if you sort of played up and all this and other so and and of course there was a lot of negative press publicity uh, towards the, the subculture of Skinner. About six years ago now Dr Martins and Fred Perry and Ben Sherman all the sort of labels that were associated with the the, the skinhead, the early skinhead movements in the 60s, late 60s, and the revival sort of movement of the 80s, they all disassociated themselves with with they, they wrote it out of their company history almost. But recently they've started reintroducing it and re re remarketing the brand and. You know, if I walk, I, I walked into um, the Dr. Martin shop in Cardiff, and I was horrified because they got it so wrong. You know, the whole point of the way we dressed was that it was these weren't designer brands then; they were stylish clothes. So that's why we adopted them. You know, I think the thing is there isn't any defined subculture these days. You know, the, the problem from my point of view, is that the, the clothing companies, the brands have, have, have taken things on and they're, they're pushing it. It's called fashion and culture is, is almost corporate led these days. That's how I feel. Um, so it doesn't give the kids any identity of their own. Like this, the skinheads of the late 60s, didn't really shock the Teddy Boys because the Teddy Boys were the, the original sort of rebellious movement. Yeah. Like parenting jackets are massively yeah, in fashion. Yeah, every, every, and, but they don't belong to a single subculture now. 
you know, whereas before that item of clothing was almost a definition sort of thing. It belonged to the skinheads and the rude boys and the, and the mods, but that was about it, you know, no one yeah. else wore them. I think there is a, a massive um, cultural, uh, social economic thing that related to the subcultures, so, um, and again, that's, that's completely changed because social economic structures have, have changed in the last 30, 40 years, you know, so it's very hard to define who, who is working class and, um, you know, we've got a massive benefits culture now that is, is like a, um, an underbelly, if, if to quote the press, you know, so it, it's, it's, it's very hard and, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice to see, uh, I think, the film This Is England sort of gave a little revival and it's nice to see 16 year old kids dressed up as skinheads again but they still haven't quite got it right if you know what I mean but then the 60s skinheads probably said that about the 80s skinheads you know so but if, if, if the spirit's there not the right wing spirit by the way but if the spirit's there then yeah why not.